Did you know that some darts players have disappeared out of nowhere? We'll tell you later about the most mysterious disappearance ever. Keep watching because you really don't want to miss this. Darts has been a popular game for decades, and while many players have achieved great success and become household names, others have disappeared from the scene for various reasons. In this video, we'll be taking a look at some of the most interesting stories about disappearing players, exploring why they stopped playing darts and what they're doing right now. Jockey Wilson was a Scottish professional darts player, born on March 22nd, 1950, in Kirkcaldy, Scotland. He began playing darts in local pubs and clubs before turning professional in the late 1970s. Jockey quickly became a fan favourite due to his unique throwing style and his ability to hit big finishes under pressure. Jockey enjoyed a successful career in darts, winning two world championship titles in 1982 and 1989. He also won a number of other major titles, including the World Masters and the British Professional Championship. Jockey was known for his fierce competitiveness on the hockey and his dedication to the game. However, in the early 1990s, Jockey began to struggle with health issues, including diabetes and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD. These health problems affected his ability to play darts at the highest level, and he gradually withdrew from the sport. Jockey played his last competitive match in 1995 and announced his retirement shortly after. Sadly, Jockey's health continued to decline and he passed away on March 24th, 2012, at the age of 62. His contributions to the sport of darts are remembered to this day, and he's considered one of the greatest players of all time. Bob Anderson is a former professional darts player from Hampshire, England, born on November 7th, 1947. He started playing darts at a young age and became a professional in 1986. Bob was known for his steady throwing style and his ability to hit big scores when it mattered most. During his career, Bob won several major tournaments, including the World Masters, the British Open and the World Cup singles. He also reached the final of the World Championship twice in 1988 and 1995. Bob was a consistent performer throughout his career and he was respected by fans and players alike. Bob continued to play darts well into his 50s, but he gradually began to struggle with injuries and health problems. In 2006, he announced his retirement from professional darts, citing a back injury as the main reason for his decision. However, Bob remained involved in the sport as a commentator and a mentor to young players. Today, Bob Anderson is remembered as one of the greatest players in the history of darts. His contributions to the sport have helped to shape it into the exciting and competitive game that it is today. Keith Deller is a former professional darts player from Ipswich, England, born on December 24th, 1959. He started playing darts at the age of 14 and became a professional in 1983. Keith was known for his fast and aggressive throwing style as well as his ability to hit big finishes under pressure. Keith is best known for his victory in the 1983 World Championship, where he defeated the defending champion Eric Bristow in a thrilling final. This final catapulted Keith to fame and made him a household name in the world of darts. He also won several other major titles during his career, including the World Pairs and the World Masters. After retiring from professional darts in the early 1990s, Keith remained involved in the sport as a commentator and a coach. He also owned a dart shop in Ipswich, where he helped to nurture young talent and promote the game in his local area. Today, Keith Deller is remembered as one of the great characters of darts, with his infectious personality and his love for the game. His victory in the 1983 World Championship is still regarded as one of the greatest upsets in the history of darts, and his legacy as a player and ambassador for the sport continues to inspire new generations of fans and players. Don't forget to hit the bullseye to subscribe to our channel so you never miss out any of our amazing darts videos. Also, take a look at our website for the coolest darts gear ever. Now, back to the video. Bobby George is a former professional darts player from London, England, born on December 16th, 1945. He started playing darts at a young age and became a professional in 1976. 
Bobby was known for his flamboyant style, both on and off the dartboard, with his colourful outfits and extravagant entrances, making him a fan favourite. During his career, Bobby won several major tournaments, including the News of the World Championship and the Winmar World Masters. He also reached the final of the World Championship twice, in 1980 and 1994. Bobby was a consistent performer throughout his career and was widely regarded as one of the most popular players on the circuit. In the early 2000s, Bobby began to suffer from health problems including a heart condition and diabetes. He eventually announced his retirement from professional darts in 2005, citing his health as the main reason for his decision. However, Bobby remained involved in the sport as a commentator and a television personality, appearing on several darts-related programs in the UK. Today, Bobby George is remembered as one of the most iconic and beloved figures in the history of darts. His contributions to the sport have helped to shape its culture and personality, and his legacy as a player and ambassador for the game continues to inspire new generations of fans and players alike. Tony David is a former professional darts player from Australia, born on December 12, 1967. He started playing darts at the age of 21 and became a professional in 2000. Tony was known for his accuracy and consistency at the dartboard, as well as his calm and composed demeanour under pressure. Tony is best known for his victory in the 2002 BDO World Championship, where he defeated the defending champion Ted Hankey in a closely contested final. This victory made him the first Australian to win a world championship in any form of darts, and cemented his place as one of the top players in the game. After his world championship victory, Tony continued to compete at the highest level of the sport for several years. However, he began to suffer from health problems in the mid-2000s, including arthritis in his throwing arm. He eventually announced his retirement from professional darts in 2013, citing his health as the main reason for his decision. Today, Tony David is remembered as one of the great players in the history of darts, with his victory in the 2002 World Championship remaining a landmark moment for Australian darts. His skill and determination on the dartboard inspired a generation of players in his home country, and his legacy as a player and ambassador for the sport continues to inspire new fans and players around the world. John Part is a former professional darts player from Canada, born on June 29th, 1966. He started playing darts at a young age and became a professional in 1991. John was known for his precision and accuracy on the dartboard, as well as his ability to perform under pressure in big matches. During his career, John won several major tournaments, including three world championships in the British darts organisation, BDO, and one in the Professional Darts Corporation, PDC. He also reached the final of the PDC World Championship on two other occasions, cementing his place as one of the top players in the game. Despite his success, John struggled with injuries and personal issues throughout his career, which led to periods of inconsistent form. He eventually announced his retirement from professional darts in 2020, citing a desire to spend more time with his family as the main reason for his decision. Today, John Part is remembered as one of the greatest players in the history of Canadian darts, with his achievements on the global stage cementing his place as a legend of the game. His skill and determination on the dartboard inspired a generation of players in his home country and around the world, and his legacy as a player and ambassador for the sport continues to inspire new fans and players today. Steve Beaton is a former professional darts player from England, born on April 5th, 1964. He started playing darts in his early teens and became a professional in 1989. Steve was known for his smooth throwing style and his ability to hit big scores consistently. During his career, Steve won several major tournaments, including the Winmar World Masters and the British Open. He also reached the final of the PDC World Championship in 1996, where he was narrowly defeated by the legendary Phil Taylor. Despite his success, Steve struggled with consistency in the latter stages of his career and his form began to decline in the mid-2010s. However, he continued to compete at the highest level of the sport, and in 2019, he became the oldest player ever to win a Players' Championship event at the age of 55. 
Today, Steve Beaton is remembered as one of the most talented players in the history of darts. With his smooth and consistent throwing style, inspiring a generation of players in England and around the world. His longevity in the sport and his ability to compete at the highest level for more than three decades is a testament to his skill and dedication. And his legacy as a player and ambassador for the sport continues to inspire new fans and players today. Kevin Painter is a former professional darts player from England, born on July 2nd, 1967. He started playing darts at a young age and became a professional in 1996. Kevin was known for his precise throwing style and his ability to hit big scores when it mattered most. During his career, Kevin won several major tournaments, including the Players Championship and the World Grand Prix. He also reached the final of the PDC World Championship in 2004, where he was defeated by Phil Taylor. Despite his success, Kevin struggled with inconsistency in the latter stages of his career, and his form began to decline in the mid-2010s. He eventually announced his retirement from professional darts in 2019, citing a desire to spend more time with his family as the main reason for the decision. Today, Kevin Painter is remembered as one of the most talented players of his generation, with his precision and accuracy on the dartboard inspiring a generation of players in England and around the world. His performances on the big stage and his ability to compete at the highest level for more than two decades cement his place as a legend of the game, and his legacy as a player and ambassador for the sport continues to inspire new fans and players today. Andy Hamilton is a former professional darts player from England, born on March 16th, 1967. He started playing darts in his early 20s and became a professional in 2004. Andy was known for his consistent and accurate throwing style and his ability to stay calm under pressure. During his career, Andy won several major tournaments, including the Players' Championship and the European Championship. He also reached the final of the PDC World Championship in 2012, where he was narrowly defeated by Adrian Lewis in a thrilling match. Despite his success, Andy struggled with injuries and health problems in the latter stages of his career and his form began to decline in the mid-2010s. He eventually announced his retirement from professional darts in 2019, citing a desire to focus on his health and his family as the main reasons for his decision. Today, Andy Hamilton is remembered as one of the most consistent and reliable players of his generation, and his accurate and precise throwing style inspiring a generation of players in England and around the world. His performances on the big stage and his ability to compete at the highest level for more than a decade cement his place as a legend of the game, and his legacy as a player and ambassador for the sport continues to inspire new fans and players today. Colin Lloyd is a retired professional darts player from England. He was born on August 7th, 1973 in Essex and began playing darts at a young age. Lloyd was known for his smooth throwing action and precise finishing on the hockey, which earned him the nickname Jaws. Lloyd's breakthrough year came in 2004, when he won the World Grand Prix, one of the biggest tournaments in the darts calendar. He followed this up with a victory at the World Match Play in 2005, establishing himself as one of the top players in the game. In the following years, Lloyd continued to compete at the highest level of the sport, he reached the semi-finals of the PDC World Championship in 2005 and 2009 and also won a number of other major tournaments, including the UK Open and the Las Vegas Desert Classic. However, Lloyd's career was hampered by a series of injuries in his later years. He suffered from a back problem that made it difficult for him to stand for long periods of time and he also experienced issues with his shoulder and elbow. These injuries affected his form and performance on the hockey and in 2017 he announced his retirement from professional darts. In addition to his health issues, Lloyd's retirement was also motivated by a desire to spend more time with his family. He had been playing darts professionally for over 20 years and wanted to take a break from the demands of the sport to focus on his personal life. Since retiring, Lloyd has remained involved in the darts community as a commentator and pundit. He's also worked as a coach and mentor to young players, passing on his knowledge and experience to the next generation of darts stars. 
Lloyd's legacy in the world of darts is that of a skilled and determined player who achieved success through hard work and perseverance. Despite his injuries, he continued to compete at the highest level of the sport and was admired by his peers and fans alike. While his retirement marked the end of an era in professional darts, his contributions to the sport will continue to be remembered and celebrated for years to come. Eric Bristow was a legendary professional darts player from England, born on April 25th, 1957. He started playing darts as a child and became a professional in 1976. Eric was known for his precise throwing style and his ability to intimidate opponents with his aggressive playing style. During his career, Eric won several major tournaments, including the World Masters, the World Cup Singles, and the World Professional Championship. He also won five World Championships between 1980 and 1986, cementing his status as one of the greatest players of his generation. Despite his success, Eric struggled with personal demons throughout his career, including issues with alcohol and depression. His form began to decline in the early 1990s, and he eventually retired from professional darts in 2007, citing a desire to focus on his health and his family as the main reasons for his decision. Eric Bristow is remembered as one of the most dominant and charismatic players in the history of the sport, with his aggressive playing style and his larger-than-life personality inspiring a generation of players in England and around the world. His performances on the big stage and his ability to compete at the highest level for more than two decades cement his place as a true legend of the game, and his legacy as a player and ambassador for the sport continues to inspire new fans and players today. In conclusion, some players stopped playing due to injuries, while others moved on to pursue other interests or focus on their personal lives. Regardless of the reason, their absence has left an impact on the sport and the fans who followed their careers. It's important to remember the contributions these players made to the game of darts and to appreciate the legacy they've left behind. Don't forget to hit the bullseye to subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on any of our amazing darts videos. Also, take a look at our website for the coolest darts gear ever. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.